All right, let's bring in Benjamin Newman, who's head of biology at Texas A&M University in Texarkana. Good to have you on the show, um, Benjamin. Uh, we've just been hearing about what Australia is doing with regards to getting a vaccine for the coronavirus, hopefully. Um, what's your assessment of the Australian efforts and other uh, efforts globally? Where are we? Yeah, so the first uh, results are coming out very soon, and this has been a very quick um, response in terms of how vaccines are normally made. Uh, you'd normally be looking at a process of several years, and this has been compacted to within a couple of months. The type of vaccines that are being tried in the earliest um, uh, three trials uh, around the world are all very similar. So they're all trying to make one protein from the virus, and it's the protein that sticks out on the outside and gives them the name coronaviruses. It's that spike protein. And uh, a good immune response to those spike protein, the idea is that that would give uh, good protection against the entire virus. The immune system would essentially grab this and uh, destroy it. We have yet to see how successful that's going to be, but I think there are a lot of other uh, vaccine ideas that are coming down the pipe after this. And so even if these first ones don't work out quite as well as intended, I think there's still a lot uh, to look forward to and to hope for. And I like those two words, a lot to look forward to and to hope for. Um, where is there optimism with regards to a vaccine? What other um, efforts are looking hopeful? So in particular, the uh, treatment efforts are looking, uh, they're probably going to come through uh, next, and some of those have come through already. The uh, hydroxychloroquine is something that coronavirus scientists have known about uh, for quite a long time. There are papers going back to the 80s that talk about this. Um, it's always been kind of, a, I don't know, a B minus C plus uh, in the lab. But if you're getting actually some sort of effect in the clinic, and uh, we're, we're waiting for larger numbers to make sure this is the case, then that would be wonderful. So the coronavirus actually attacks a person slowly and steadily over several days, actually several weeks. And anything you can do to slow down the virus just a little bit gives the immune system a little more time, and uh, that can actually lead to a favorable outcome and potentially save lives. And this is going to have to be a, a global effort. Is there, are there lessons that we've learned from the SARS outbreak? Oh, this is very much a global effort. Uh, even the Australian uh, initiative that you're talking about involves, I believe, at least three countries uh, providing funding and expertise and doing testing. And this is wonderful. Uh, so in the past, we had this sort of cowboy culture where you put on the hat and you go out and try and save the world all by yourself. Now we're seeing people work together and try to work quickly, uh, work in ways that can get us to a vaccine faster and uh, still just as safely um, as possible. And I really like that. And I think those are some of the lessons from the original SARS and just all the coronavirus work that's been going on up to this point. Benjamin Newman, you've uh, given me lots of hope. Uh, your enthusiasm is really contagious. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Isn't he great? <laughs>